Hi, I'm Mick Sadler and today we're going to do product photography with your phone. Right, this is the setup we've got. We've got um, a bulb holder with a bulb. We've got an LED bulb in there. Um, I'm surprised that they're not more popular. Let's know in the uh, in the comments whether you can get LED bulbs in your location. Anyway, you can get a compact fluorescent bulb to fit in there and um, get a bright as one as you can. 85 watt, 105 watts. So we've got the that screwed into a bulb holder. We've got a white shoot through umbrella. And we've got a light stand, small portable compact light stand, and then we've got our product table with just a piece of white card, which is uh, got from uh, uh, an art store, and so it's quite close to the uh, the item and sort of aimed towards uh, the back um, so that as much light falls on the back as does on the item. So it's quite important when you're doing product photography using continuous lights that the ambient light is as low as it can be. We are in a, a room that's very white and light so there is some aspect to that that will affect the image. But... Um, if you make sure that uh, your light is quite strong and if you get a compact fluorescent bulb which is 85, 105 watts um, then uh, you know the brightness of that will counteract any sort of ambient light. What you don't need to have is somewhere with a bright coloured wall because that will reflect on your uh, on your subject, so you can use a, a sort of a maker uh, with this simple setup. I mean, all we've got is uh, a light stand, a bulb holder, and a shoot through umbrella, uh, and a bulb, of course. Um, so that is really simple and quite reasonably priced. Um, and you can just use a, a piece of card on one side as a reflector um, and uh, sort of contain the light. And in fact, having that bit of card on, uh, on the left-hand side would actually be pretty good. Um, something of... Uh, only just thought of. Um, but I'll fill the... Uh, film the stuff with the uh, product so mm. anyway um, using your phone most phones now are brilliant and the quality you get is really superb and so you don't need to have a bigger camera um, your main concern is sort of converging verticals um, and um, but really, all in all, as long as you've got a fair amount of light, you'll get a good result. And because the editing in these is pretty good, I mean, you can go to other editing programs. You know, you can do some really quite intricate retouching. But, you know, if you're just doing products for your website and such, eBay or Amazon, then 
there's no point. All you want is to uh, give a good, uh, good likeness to what you're doing. And you can adjust the brightness of your subject. So it's always good to do that to get more or less the, uh, the result you want. Um, uh, and it's important not to have HDR. If you've got HDR, don't have it on because it's not going to help you in this sort of situation. You can then take the picture and then you can go to edit that picture. And so you want to go to the little uh, circle with the like a sun and then click on uh, the light bit, which will bring you up to highlights. And so you can adjust your highlights. So if your highlights uh, are too dark, you can adjust them up to go into your black point and reduce that and to give it more contrast. And once you've done that, then um, you're good to go. And once you've got your, once you've done the editing, you can also do some, uh, make sure the angle is right um, and do a little bit of cropping. And once you've done that, once you've done that, a little bit of cropping, you're good to go. And you can use that picture then to go anywhere into uh, Amazon, eBay or Etsy or in fact your own website. This is another example of uh, another product. So again, tap the screen to bring up the brightness and you can raise or alter the exposure. And once you've done that, then you can take the picture and uh, then you can go into the editing and choose the uh, light and go down to your highlights and set your highlights um, probably a little bit brighter. You can go into your brilliance and uh, adjust that and that is and then you can go down to your black point and darken up a little bit, which also puts a bit more in the shadow uh, in the midtone areas. And then that's it. You'll uh, adjust the uh, crop um, to uh, not leave too much all around. You're on a pretty much white background there. And uh, once you've done that, take the picture, you're good to go. And then you've ended up with your uh, result of your final picture. Thanks for watching. Um, if you've got any tips, leave them down below. Um, if there's what content you want to see, you'd like to see on this channel, again, leave it down below and um, we'll sort of try and make that content. We've got a few reviews coming up um, and uh, I like to quite do the sort of vlog style outdoors um, and uh, if you like to see that please sort of let us know in the comments whether that's good or whether that's not so good. Um, um, I've got another channel uh, Inner Light UK which I'm going to concentrate on doing some macro work because I'm quite into macro work these days and um, so if you're interested in macro perhaps go along there and have a look if you like this then press the like button it does help um, and subscribe if you want to see uh, more of this and uh, of course if you hit the bell um, that will inform you every time we upload well, it's a bit erratic at the moment. Um, uh, if you guys can give me some ideas of what we can, uh, what content we can make, then we can uh, probably make more videos. So anyway, until next time, bye for now. We'll see you again next time.